So let's take a look at how the VLAN probe tool works. So the VLAN probe tool is very useful to troubleshoot problems on the wired side of your networks or make sure that the switches and any devices upstream like DHCP servers or default gateways have been configured correctly. So let's, like, let's look at a, an example here where a client device is connecting to an access point and it's not getting an IP address. It, it, it's ending up with a self-assigned uh, IP address of 169.254.255.202. The configuration that was supposed to be there is VLAN 2, 5, and 8 with three different scopes. So 192.168.20, 30, and uh, 40. The switch side is supposed to be configured correctly. There's supposed to be a DHCP server. So how do you verify from the perspective of the wireless network whether everything that's supposed to be there is actually there? So uh, the tool that does that for you is called the VLAN probe. And what the VLAN probe does is it's actually a DHCP probe. So for every VLAN that you configure, it will send out a DHCP request. And that will test. So And the DHCP request is going to be sent out using the tag of the VLAN that you're testing. And so the AP will be using a trunk port towards the switch. Um, and then we will ch check the configuration whether A, that switch has a trunk port configured as well, whether the VLANs are actually present, and whether those VLANs have a DHCP server on them. One constraint of this setup is you are relying on a DHCP server to be present across all three VLANs. So we will send a DHCP request on every one of those VLANs. And for every time we get a lease offer, we will mark that VLAN as configured and working. When we don't get an offer on a VLAN, we would mark that VLAN as down. Um, after we receive a lease, we will release that lease by sending back a NAC message uh, to make sure we don't uh, drain out the leases from a DHCP server. And that will basically tell you um, whether the upstream or the wired side of the network has been properly configured. And if it has been properly configured, it could mean that the DHCP server is not working, or an IP helper configuration is not working, or the switch is misconfigured in terms of its port configuration, maybe there's no trunk configuration, or the, v the allowed VLANs command has been misconfigured or not there at all. Um, so this is just a quick tool to help you identify whether the issue lies, well, on your wireless network, or somewhere upstream on the wired side of the network. And this is especially useful when the wireless and wired teams are, uh, or people are working in there are not part of the same team. And uh, it's just a quick and easy way of figuring out what's going on.